I'm Anita Wardlaw, and welcome to a fresh new day. I am so thrilled now that I'm sitting with a wonderful dynamo, Alicia Howard, who is the assistant of another mighty woman that I spoke to in another episode. Tell me who you're the assistant to and the name of your organization and how you got connected. Okay, I am Alicia Howard and I am the assistant of Chastity, who is a director of All Nations North America, or ANA for short. Um, that's the abbreviation. And you're from the Navajo Yes, I am from the Navajo well. Nation. I'm half. So they say the other half is Heinz 57 because it's a bunch of things. I so. like to say a recipe of rare degree. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Definitely Go got me. that. Yeah. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I think so. I've never heard that before. It's, it's for me. <laughs> Something I came up with because I don't like to hear people say that. You know, everyone is special. Mm -hmm. You went to a restaurant and they said, this is a gourmet piece. It's got a little bit of French and a little bit of... Navajo spices, and a little <laughs> bit of English, and a secret ingredient. They'd say, whoa, that's so exciting. They wouldn't that's say, oh, this is just a, a Heinz 57 recipe, would it? You know, everybody's yeah. special, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so from now on, you're a special recipe gourmet. <laughs> One of a kind. You know, some of you are sitting there and you're listening, and you might know, not know your heritage. Maybe you are saying, you don't have a tribe to call forth, or you don't understand what we're saying, but this is for all people. It's not just for First Nations, it's for all people. And the Bible says that we're all created in the image of God, who loves every single person, regardless of what anyone else has said. If someone says you're worthless, or you're not as good as the next person, they're lying. No one is worthless, isn't that right? And that's a lot of what you do in your ministry, isn't it? Yes, we do. We work a lot with the young people. Uh -huh. We really have a heart for reaching my generation because, uh -huh. you know, I grew up in church and I was always, my parents were at every event and uh -huh. I was always the only young person. Uh -huh. And that really broke my heart to see that there, the young people were not there receiving mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. blessing and the wisdom of the elders mm -hmm. and just the speakers. And mm -hmm. so um, it's really been a journey that the Lord's brought me on with Chastity and Anna. And mm -hmm. um, we met a few years ago, actually. Uh, I got brought into this whole journey with um, a pro-life movement. Oh, okay. And so we were in Texas. Uh-huh. And I ran into her, and they are like, you're both native. You guys uh -huh. should know each other. So um, we briefly met, and we uh -huh. prayed together, and got a picture together that we didn't know we got taken together. Mm -hmm. We found it last year. Uh -huh. um, and then I never heard from her again. Uh -huh. We were friends on Facebook. Um, and then two years ago, I met her again mm -hmm. in... California at the call Berkeley and she invited me along and said hey we're going to a reservation you should pray about coming and the awesome. Lord told me to join her so I've been with her since then. And what did you do when you were at the call? Um, oh. At the call we have been uh, well this is my second one uh, Azusa now was mm -hmm. coming alongside and helping with the native portion of mm -hmm. the event so mm -hmm. the welcoming the people and finding the host tribe to come and mm -hmm. make sure we do the right protocol with mm -hmm. the host tribe because that's mm -hmm. very important so. very much so tell the audience a little bit about protocol so protocol is when um, the native tribes when they would come together the two different tribes they would come and bring gifts to honor each other and so we still continue that on mm -hmm. by, you know, finding the host people. Like in L.A., it was a Tongva people. So mm -hmm. we found them and got a representative so that we could honor them mm -hmm. and that they could allow us to be in their land because that is, even though it's just a physical act, mm -hmm. it actually opens up a lot of stuff in the spiritual right. for um, the doors to be open mm -hmm. and to be welcomed. It's the protocol. just says how we have the protocol to go through Jesus to get to God. Exactly. You know? so. And it says that we're to come with thanksgiving. Yes. To enter his courts with praise. Mm -hmm. 
because we have a protocol to God, and He wants us to be thankful for all that He's given us. Yeah. And it's special to know that we can be thankful that we are unique, mm -hmm. that you're one of a kind. Isn't that right? Yep. You know, someone might be listening right now, and maybe they don't uh, feel thankful. Maybe they feel like an oddball mm -hmm. in their situation. Can you pray for that person right now? Definitely can do that. Well, Lord, I just pray, Lord, for those, Lord, who you have set apart, Lord, and who have created for such a time as this, Lord. You've knitted them together in their mother's womb, Lord. I just pray, Lord, that you would come and you would speak to them, Lord, that you would open their ears to hear your voice and to hear the truth of who you say they are, God, and that you would bring boldness and courage to their hearts, Lord, to be who you created them to be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening to us and know that you are special. And if you don't know Jesus, he is also called the bright and morning star. He is the son of creator. He is the son of almighty God, the one who sacrificed for you so that you could live and be free. And I just want to pray for you right now. And if you want to know this one we're talking about, just say, I'm sorry for everything I've ever done wrong. I want to know you, Jesus. Make yourself real to me. I open my heart to you, bright morning star. Jesus. Come into my life. Help me to understand what they're talking about. I accept the fact that you paid the price for all the mistakes I've made. Make me a new person in you. Help me to live my life just for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you said that, I guarantee you something will change in your life today. You may not understand all of it, but it's a journey. We're continuing to learn mm -hmm. every day. It's a step-by-step -step walk on the path that will lead to eternal life and a blessed life now. So I just say, shalom, peace, nothing missing, nothing broken. Be blessed and know how precious and special you are. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Make it a fresh new day in Jesus, Yeshua. Yes,